Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime and I had a very different uh, video planned for today. I actually, because of some stuff that has been happening in my town over the last few days, uh, we had some tornadoes and lightning and a uh, tree fell on our house and there, there's, there's just been a lot of stuff we've been dealing with. Don't worry, everyone's okay. We even had a COVID scare earlier in the week, but we are COVID free in this house for right now. Um, so there's just been a lot happening. and. I kind of decided uh, that I was obviously going to be doing a bit less. We did get the podcast out last night, but videos have been a bit sparing. I was going to recap all of the news we missed. You know, there's incredible Switch sales going on in Japan, new trailers dropping for Legends Arceus, Triangle Strategy, and a whole bunch of other things that I was going to talk about today. But then one particular story stood out so much, I wanted to make sure in the spirit of the holiday season that it got the proper attention it deserves because oftentimes... Um, there's a lot of focus on consumerism, a lot of focus on the things we want during the holidays, uh, and not a lot of focus on doing the right thing and making somebody's day. Now we here at Nintendo Prime fully believe in doing just that. What's one reason we do a lot of our giveaways is to try to bring smiles to people's faces. One reason that we've been trying to support charities lately is to try to help those that are in need. I try to use my channel to make a positive difference in this world while also getting to passionately talk about games and, um, you know, just do my best to make you guys smile. But nothing beats the most incredible story of the year. And speaking of those giveaways, we have one going on right now for three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Head down to the description of the pinned comment and click on that viral sweep link to enter. I don't really want to do any preamble here. We're on our way to 80,000 subscribers. Subscribe if you want. Like this video. But something incredible happened. And instead of me narrating it for you, I'm just going to let the local news out in Arizona tell you exactly what happened with six Nintendo switches. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, Are you serious? Yeah, absolutely. 100% serious. Yes. Only on 12 News, a delivery dilemma turns into the surprise of a lifetime for a Valley grandma who accidentally got six Nintendo Switch game consoles delivered to her doorstep. Deborah Lewis tried several times, actually, to try to return them to the target that they were supposed to go to, but she didn't have any luck. Team Charles Rachel Cole is live in the Alert Center with new details and where those highly sought after devices are headed. Rachel? Yeah, guys, at almost 400 bucks a pop, all Deborah really wanted to do was get those games back into the right hands, but the team at Target has something else in store for this sweet Awatuki woman. Take a look. Nice, and I'm glad Two Awatuki Target employees, Trent and Allison, arriving at Deborah's home. She thinks they're picking up the six Nintendo Switches mistakenly delivered to her earlier this week. But much to Deborah's surprise. On behalf of Target and your local Target store right down the street, we are going to get these to you to give to what? your grandchildren or whoever you Wait, 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 wait. Yes, are you serious? Yeah, I'm so 100% serious. Yes, ma'am. You've got to be kidding. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You're gonna make me cry, don't do that. <laughs> you just yes, have no idea what I've been going through and please the dude. This is unbelievable. The grandmother of eight in tears, touched by Target's kindness. She received several packages a week with her meds and medical equipment and never expected this. From the bottom of our hearts, Target is so proud to do this for you and we wanna say thank you so, so very much. Thank you. And you have a new bestie, I'm your new best friend. <laughs> I cannot believe it, I just cannot believe it, can I have a hug? Oh, you absolutely can, yes ma'am. <laughs> An incredible gesture and warm embrace for a woman who just wanted to do the the right thing. She tried several times to return the gaming consoles. You're gonna make me cry. You sound like It's just it's just amazing. I've never had. I feel like I'm dreaming. I've never had anything like happen. I didn't look. For, I wasn't looking for anything. Honestly, she was hoping to get these darn things out from under the tree. Matter of fact, I kept saying, I am so tired of people asking me, "Oh, just send me one." I just like, please, just get them out of here. So. Oh, and for you to do this is amazing. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. My heart feels so warm oh. right now. You know, I'm, you know, I'm coming in for another help. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh my God, you are wonderful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, God. I mean. 
target, that was incredible. I understand that this was obviously a decision made by local management at a local store. It's not representative of the corporation itself, the big corporate people, even though this is a nice story for Target themselves. But this wasn't dumb for publicity. This is at a local place. This video, uh, the original news video on YouTube only has 11,000 views. This isn't something that was done for attention. Target did this because it was the right thing to do. Deborah is a grandmother of eight children. Eight children. Well, there's only six Nintendo Switches, so not every single child uh, can get one. Obviously, who knows the different age groups of those grandchildren. She's 68, obviously dealing with her own medical issues. And this is one of the most incredible stories of kindness we have seen during this holiday season. We've seen a lot of horror stories out there, right? The COVID outbreak happening all over again. We've seen not so much death counts rise up, I guess, out of that outbreak as much as the last year, but uh, we have also seen other horror stories with tornadoes and corporations like Amazon not letting their employees leave the warehouse. And if they did, they would be fired. And because of that, our tornado struck the actual warehouse and some people unfortunately lost their lives. Um, obviously the disaster we've been dealing with out here in the Midwest with more tornadoes and storms, although it seems to have calmed down and maybe we're gonna be moved past that for a while at this point. Um, there's supposed to be a big snow front coming in. There's going to be a lot of things happening that can distract us from the positive things that happen in this world. And this is one of those stories that just is not only incredibly emotional, just watching the raw reaction of Deborah in that video, um, seeing the real emotion, seeing how she actually kind of viewed these switches originally as a burden because she knew they weren't hers. And obviously all her grandchildren and all that were kind of begging her for these systems, which she knew it was not the right thing to keep them for herself. And for her to selflessly, because she could have not said anything and kept these switches, but she was going to do the right thing. She was trying to return these, knowing how hot ticket item this is for the holidays and how people might really want these systems and want to purchase them legally from their local Target. And for Target to come out and be like, look, we appreciate that you are being a good Samaritan and getting this package back to us, that we're just gonna let you keep it and give it to whoever you feel like. And not only that, presenting a gift basket, just incredible. I, these are the kind of stories I want to spread all year long. We talk so much on the negative, right? Oh, there's the manufacturing aspect and we can't keep things in stock or, oh, you know, Activision Blizzard has all these uh, allegations and lawsuits happening over misconduct in the workplace and, you know, harassment and everything. Same with Ubisoft as well, not too long ago. Like we have all these negative EA microtransactions, people reacting negatively to NFTs, us getting upset over Nintendo Switch Online and how Nintendo's handling N64 games, even though we just got five new Sega Genesis games out of nowhere. Reality is that just kind of highlights that Sega Genesis is being treated better than the, Super, than the Super Nintendo, than the Nintendo Entertainment System, and the Nintendo 64. So, yes, there's all these negatives that are existing out there and whatever negative things are happening in your lives. But this is an incredible story. And I wanted it to be the highlight of the end of our week, as next week, folks, is Christmas. So to those of you out there that are able to give to those in need this holiday season, I encourage you to do so. I think that's a message we all can get behind this holiday season, right? All right, folks. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you're celebrating, or if you're not celebrating anything, smile and enjoy the end of this year as we look forward to 2022. And I will catch you in our next video.